Hello, this video will provide an introduction to the elementary education traditional program at Gordon State College. If you're not familiar with Gordon State, we are a state college in the University System of Georgia. We were founded in 1852 and we're located in Barnesville, Georgia, which is about 60 miles south of Atlanta. We are accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, and our traditional elementary education program started its 14th year and our Pro program started its second year in 2021. Here is a map that shows where we are located in comparison to the other state and university systems in Georgia. So who would be a good candidate for the elementary education traditional education program? Um, it would be students who are willing and able to take on-campus courses on our Barnesville campus. Um, they do not need to be employed in a school system at the time to complete the program. Students should be available to take courses during regular business day daylight hours, especially early in the afternoons. And they should be available to complete their field experience hours during the regular business daylight hours, usually in the mornings. By completion of this bachelor program, you will have earned a Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education. Once you complete the bachelor program, you will have earned a Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education, as well as be eligible for te Georgia Teacher Certification in the area of Elementary Education and Special Education General Curriculum. Having those two things, you'll be employable as a teacher in a K-5 public school setting, um, as well as the possibility of working in private schools or other educational related institutions. It is important to note that if you plan on teaching in another state, uh, you will need to consult that state's process for um, certificate conversion from Georgia to whatever state you uh, plan on teaching in. So let's look at the big picture process for completing the program. First you want to apply to Gordon State College itself and you'll do that by going to www.gordonstate.edu and then choosing the apply here in the top um, right area. After you apply and get accepted to Gordon State then you'll need to complete any associate level degree work um, or we call these the pre-courses that are needed. Um, if you are a transfer student you could be transferring in credit hours um, so you might not have to complete all the pre-courses here at Gordon but if you're a brand new student and we'll uh, be able to help you complete all of those pre-courses. Um, with this, you can take as many pre-courses as you want at a time. Um, and this is individualized based upon if you are transferring in credits or not. So usually once you are accepted, we um, give you the worksheet of the pre-courses and show where your transfer credits, if you have any, will count. Once you complete the pre-courses, then you want to apply to the education program itself. This involves an application, disposition, and recommendation forms. You also want to complete the GACE Educator Ethics, which is number 360. Um, the GACE Educator Ethics is required for any um, student completing a teacher education program in the state of Georgia, um, and this is done through the Professional Standards Commission. So this is a, a Gordon-specific um, course that you would take. Uh, you want to make sure that when you sign up for it that you take the GACE Educator Ethics and not the GACE Leadership Ethics. It's also important to note that in prior years the Program Admission Assessment, which involved a reading, writing, and math assessment, was required to enter the program, but this, um, as of Fall 2022, is no longer required. So once you have applied to the program and completed the GACE Educator Ethics and you have been accepted into the program, um, then you would start the program itself. That would start in a fall semester. It will run from fall, spring, summer, fall, and spring. So it takes two years to complete. During this time, you'll be taking coursework as well as doing your field work. You'll work with our field, uh, field work director who will uh, help you find your field experiences and place you in um, your field experience every semester. Upon completion of the program, you would take the GACE subject area exam in elementary education, special education general curriculum, and at that point you will become a certified teacher. This is a screenshot of the pre-courses that you would be required to take. Um, if you are a brand new student, you would take all of these courses per area. Um, if you are a transfer student, then of course we would mark out the courses that are transferring in for you, and then you would take those that are left. So just generally looking at it, if you look at area A, all students will take two Englishes and a math. In area B, they'll take a colloquium and a fire. In Area C, they'll take a literature course as well as a humanities course, and you can see that there's a listing of multiple ones that they can choose from. Um, in, area, they'll take, in Area D, they'll take two lab sciences and an extra science or math. In Area E, they'll take one Western Civilization or World History course, and then one American History course, and then they can choose from a variety of social sciences. 
Next, in Area F, the students will be required to take the teacher education courses, and then in Area G, they'll take their health and one credit hour physical PE course. So it's very important that when you apply to um, Gordon State College that you send in all of your official transcripts from every college that you've attended so that we can give you the max amount of credit hours possible to transfer in. Um, those official transcripts will come from the school where you um, completed the degree or completed the courses. So you would go to that website of the school that you attended. Um, usually on the registrar's website there is an area where you can request electronic transcripts and you would just request that those transcripts get sent to Gordon State College for us uh, so that we can evaluate those and put those on your record. Once those have been evaluated and put on your record, you'll receive an email saying that you've been fully accepted into um, Gordon State College. At that point, you want to email one of us in the elementary um, education program so that we can look at your pre-courses and make a plan for you. If you have transfer credit hours, we'll explain which ones counted and which ones didn't and what you need to do. Um, from that point and will also help you go ahead and get registered for that particular semester. Keep in mind that these pre-courses can be taken um, at any time, fall, spring, or summer semesters. You can take those on campus or online um, and you can take as many as you like at a time. So once you complete the pre-courses, that's when you would apply to the education program itself to begin um, the last two years. So the requirements to enter the education program uh, for the traditional track are uh, you must have a 2.75 GPA on your pre-courses. You must submit an application to the education program that involves recommendation forms and disposition forms. You would also complete the GACE Educator Ethics um, course, which is number 360. Remember to do the Educator Ethics and not the Leadership Ethics. Um, there is a $30 fee and there is information on the website of how to actually um, gain access to this. And then you want to make sure that when you're entering the program that you are able to compl complete your field experiences during the morning hours and that you're able to come to campus to complete your coursework in the afternoons. And this is usually Monday through Thursday. So what should you expect once you start the education program? Uh, the program itself is full-time, five or more classes a semester. Um, your field experiences will be a few days a week in the morning times, and then in the afternoons you'll come to your uh, on campus to do your courses, and those are usually Monday through Thursday. The program is in a cohort format, meaning that you uh, start the program with a group and you stay with that group. You cannot skip around or pick semesters to choose between classes to take, and you are required to take summer classes between your junior and senior year. And here are what the field experiences look like. So your first fall uh, semester you would be with a kindergarten or first grade classroom um, doing 100 field hours over the entire semester. That first spring that you're in this semester you would then do a second or third grade classroom. Over the summer you do have courses but no field experiences. And then that second year when you come back which would be your senior year you'll do your fourth or fifth grade practicum in 100 hours. And then that last semester you're actually doing your student teaching which is 600 hours and you're able to uh, choose the grade level that you would like to do that with. This is what the courses look like when you enter the program. Again, it's fall, spring, summer, fall, spring. Notice that every semester you take a reading class coded as LART, L-A-R-T. Um, you take a special education course because you're duly certified in special ed, as well as a math course to help you learn how to teach math to students. Um, in the, the green is uh, are, are your professionalism courses, which are your field experience requirements. Um, and that is where you will be getting credit for doing those. If you notice, um, the last semester that you're in the program that last spring, it's mainly made up of your field experience professionalism classes because for the most part you're not taking courses at that point. You're at the school system all day every day uh, completing your student teaching experience. So what do you need to do now? Your next step is going to be apply to Gordon State College and send in your official transcripts. So you'll apply to Gordon State by going to our website and choosing the apply now in the upper right corner and then creating an account and completing the application. For your major, make sure to pick elementary education traditional pathway. You'll also want to send in any official transcripts that you have from other colleges or if you're a brand new student you'd want to send in your high school transcript and you'll send that to admissions at gordonstate.edu. Once you are completely accepted into Gordon State, you'll receive an email. At that point, reach out to someone in the education department to let us know that you're ready to register. We'll then review any classes that you have on file and make a plan for you to complete your pre-courses and help you register for the first time. If you happen to not have any pre-courses left to take because you're transferring in all of your pre-courses, then we'll give you information about how to um, 
apply to the education program. And here's a listing of any contacts that you might use if you have any questions about completing, um, getting accepted into Gordon State, completing the pre-courses, or applying to the education program.